Hi, I'm Hans Schneckloth, John's son, uh, and also with Schneckloth Farms, Inc. Um, <clears throat> and I, I've been planting the, the corn for, uh, for our operation for, three, for the past three years. Um, as Dad is, has jokingly said, he didn't want to uh, leave the operation to me if I never knew how to plant corn, so, so I'm learning. Um, but he explained the system. It, it's, it is pretty simple. I mean, we, we uh, are, I think uh, over average, we plant about 35,000 seeds per acre for corn, uh, but we're running a, a prescription uh, program previously written by the co-op and this year I tried a different system written by our by our pioneer seed dealer um, usually the the range is from 32,000 to 38,000 we don't have any really poor quality soil so there's no reason to drop any further below that um, and our fertility is is mostly managed by the co-op uh, we have an agronomist named Scott Madden that does our grid sampling and um, nutrient management recommendations for us uh, you, know, you spend a lot of time, or we spend a lot of time on on the big nutrients, you know, P, K, uh, and and nitrogen, and um, and we've kind of dabbled with some micronutrients over the past couple of years, but they're not quite as crucial if you don't get the the basics settled first. So for for nitrogen, we apply 140 pounds in the fall, with a uh, previously with a, a blue jet. Um, AT6010 and hydrous applicator and we're going to be moving to a, a deer high speed and hydrous bar so hopefully create less of a furrow effect. The, also that the, we do a second application of nitrogen um, in the spring with our with our pre-plant uh, spray down bur or burn down with herbicide. Uh, we put on about 30 to 40 pounds of, of liquid in with that mix. Just a I guess we consider that a, a starter fertilizer, you know, even though it's not put on with the planter, but it, kind of, it tends to have the same effect. Um, and we've, I think we might in the near future do trials with maybe um, mid-season applications, whether it be with uh, anhydrous side dressing or a later application of foliar applied or something like that. I think the keys for, for growing corn in no-till conditions for us are the, um, the removal of the trash over the furrow because the one thing that the one complaint people have about no-till is that the soils don't heat up as fast. So if we get kind of a bare spot right over where the seed is, I think we have adequate warming without losing the, the moisture, which is the advantage of, of no-till. And we also in our experience, and I don't know if this is true of everyone, but our, the earlier we, we get out and get started um, seems to be the better, better luck we have with, with uh, um, productivity.